Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could maybe do a get ready with me or something. I don't know. I honestly, I didn't quite know what I wanted to film today. So figured I could just sit down, get started and we'll figure it the hell out. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video and let's get started. Okay, so I think I'm going to do my eyes first because I wanted to play with this palette. I've never played with it before and I don't know what the fallout situation is going to be. So I figured say, better safe than sorry. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. I really like this color right here. So that might be what we're, we're leaning towards today. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera and I went ahead and primed my eyelids. Um... I noticed that I never really tell you guys what I use on my brows and I don't I don't know why. Um I use the CoverGirl uh brow pencil in the shade Soft Brown. I like it because it's a little bit more on the cool tone side. And then y'all already know I use my P. Louise base on my eyelids. And yeah. I just dabbed it in with a sponge. I didn't really I don't know why I'm explaining, it's not a tutorial. <laughs> But a little update for you guys, um, Brady is okay, he hasn't had any other issues, he hasn't, um, complained anymore about his neck or his throat or anything hurting, he sounded like he had a tiny bit of a cough this morning, but I think it's just like, the weather, you know what I mean? I'm very raspy in the mornings too, so like, I can only assume that that's what it is, especially because all of his testing came back negative. So that's very, very good. Let's see, what else? Um, yeah, yesterday was um, the anniversary, the one year anniversary of me and Toby's wedding ceremony. We got married back in 2014, but we just went to the courthouse because we, we started the whole process of like, getting the whole wedding thing started, like buying the dress and bippity boppity, like all of it. And, um, not only did I find out that I was pregnant, but then like, I just kind of didn't care anymore. I just wanted it, it to be over and done with and, which could have been the pregnancy <laughs> hormones. Um, I think I was frustrated too because we had been trying to get pregnant only for like a few months, but I was... 19 when I got pregnant so it was one of those things that like we had been trying and I was very naive when it comes to how hard it really can be to conceive a baby uh, so I kind of gave up to be honest with you and I uh, was just like screw it I'm done I'm done I'm over it and then I got to where I was done and over the whole wedding process which was my <laughs> pregnancy hormones that I didn't know were there yet. I even had bought a dress and everything. I was just like, I'm done. I'm absolutely over it. I just want to be married. I want to be married to you. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm, I'm over it. Of course, looking back, I think it was probably the right choice because I know for sure that the wedding that I would have wanted, we wouldn't have been able to afford. We wouldn't have been able to do it. And then I would have looked back and I would have been upset with myself for spending that much money and time and effort on something that I, I didn't want and I wouldn't like. But we ended up having a beautiful wedding ceremony. Um, if you live near us, uh, it was at the Double J Farm. It was very beautiful. We did it out in the woods at the Double J Farm and then we used the barn itself for our... Um, our um, reception and even with me planning that shit for years easily six years in the making of us finally getting our wedding ceremony um it still was a lot a lot more than I thought it was gonna be so 1010% if you think that you can stretch the budget enough to get a wedding planner do it freaking do it it was very, very hard. 
and honestly not everything went to plan which it's a wedding nothing ever does so I think honestly if I could offer any advice to anyone like like you're sincerely watching this for advice but <laughs> if you know anybody who's wedding planning or anything like that genuinely don't don't sweat the small stuff as long as you have a good time and the people that you love are there to celebrate you in the love of your life, that's all that matters. I totally picked a bump before I started filming and I really shouldn't have done that. I'll uh, put some pictures and stuff up from our wedding. And then for our honeymoon, because we never went on a honeymoon the first time, around uh for our honeymoon after our wedding ceremony we went to tennessee um which was really fun we actually saw um like a it looked like a baby bear just sleeping at the base of a tree and we were like walking through the um i don't even know how to explain it it's like multiple trees and then like hanging like little bridges going through the trees that you can like walk through and look down and see all like the nature and shit and then to, <laughs> to get up there it was uh what are those things called like a ski lift almost but like not like a ski lift because i don't know is it still a ski lift if there's no snow and you're not skiing um, it was one of those you had to use that to get up there and poor toby is <laughs> afraid of heights but he knew that I really wanted to go up there, so he was like, alright, I guess I'm gonna man this out real quick and try to pretend like <laughs> it's okay. But you could, like, read it all over his face that he was, like, absolutely fucking not. The whole time. We actually went on two... My brush is fraying. We went on two different, um... Lifts like that. And it was really fun. So if you have the chance to go, I definitely recommend it. I had never been before and then we rented a um or our friend rented a cabin for us as like his wedding gift to us and um it was really awesome it had um a hot tub on the what is it called a balcony um and it also in the master room it had like a giant what is it called giant like jetted tub or whatever and we went to go get in it and there was a freaking scorpion in the bathtub so i was like mm, yeah you're gonna have to get that out before we can get in there because so he finally he got it out but he said he noticed i think it was one of the pinchers were missing off of it i guess it got into a fight with something it was a very fun trip though the honeymoon we um went to this pizza place that was like it looked rinky-dink, like in, it kind of looked like a gas station food place, like a place that's connected to a gas station. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it had the most bomb freaking pizza. So much so that I wanted to, like, stop by there on the way out, like, when we were leaving, to grab another pizza so we could eat it on the way, because it was really, really good. You know, I used to use, like, these two colors. It's, like, a dusty purple color, and then... The darker color in the pan it looks brown but like on my eye it looks like I don't know like a brownish mauve color um but I used to use colors like this in school all the time I had like one of those I'm pretty sure it was Maybelline it was like a little bitty like quad that like when you flip to the back of it it told you exactly where to place each eyeshadow and I always went for purples because they always said that purples made uh brown eyes pop more and i've genuinely always hated my brown eyes i always wanted like blue green honestly anything but brown i just felt like they were so ugly but i, I think honestly that's like all teenage girls they think anything and everything about them is ugly and they want to be exactly like someone who is not like them which I know I have a couple younger girls who watch me. Um, you're beautiful the way you are. Don't let other people's opinions change how you feel about yourself. Because they're full of shit. 
You are beautiful. As long as you are treating others how you want to be treated, you are a beautiful person. That got really deep all of a sudden. <laughs> Not too much longer and it'll be freaking Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving Day is when we're going to my in-laws and spending that time with them. And then I'm thinking Friday we're going to be doing a Thanksgiving here at my house for like my mom and my sister. I went ahead and bought a turkey and stuck it in the freezer so that way I won't have to like worry about rushing to the store and getting one. Now I gotta figure out what all to cook with it. I know of course like stuffing. Okay I hate, hate when people call stuffing dressing. I don't, I don't know. We were talking. <laughs> I feel like my conversations just spiral. This is like my thoughts in my head at all times where they're just like constantly going I'm thinking about 50 dif different things because I got 50 different things I gotta do and all that stuff but we were at Denny's yesterday me and Toby were and we were eating lunch even though we both got like breakfast food and they had like a little like one of those like little folded up pieces of paper I don't know it's like it's like a triangle why am I <laughs> They had an advertisement thing. I don't know how to explain it on the table. That's like, it's like a triangle and on each side it has something on it displaying like what they're advertising. And they were talking about how they have turkey and stuffing available for meals, but they called stuffing dressing. So I went off on a tangent to Toby about how I can't freaking stand that. What are you guys' plans for, uh, Thanksgiving? Are you like traveling or anything or are you just gonna stay in and cook or I know some people order um like turkeys and stuff from restaurants. I know a lot of people too try to like deep fry their uh turkey which they've got a lot of balls. I don't exactly know what causes deep fried turkeys to explode but <laughs> I would assume, I think it's, if your turkey is frozen or has any sort of like moisture on it, the moisture mixing with the grease can cause the, but I, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Oh, I also got a request to do a video on things that you can get at like CVS, uh, if that's something that you guys think sounds cool sounds cool sounds cool <laughs> comment down below and let me know I don't know if you guys noticed or not but the uh we're up to 77 subscribers now hello welcome if you are new my name is Stephanie Shiflet that is my actual name I didn't want to make like I guess you'd call it like a stage name or anything like that because my luck I'd forget about it anyways and just say my name. And I also wanted it to be easy for people who do know me to find it. Find it. Find me. Do you guys do uh, makeup every day or do you just pull that shit out on special occasions? Because I'm not going to lie, unless I'm filming or I have a special occasion, I don't. I definitely don't wear makeup every day. The uh, stick foundation, to be honest with you guys, is slowly turning into my favorite foundation, at least for um, high end. I like to kind of smudge it out with a brush and then I'll go back in with my sponge and kind of like tap it all in to give it a slightly more natural appearance. My nose though is still the biggest pain in the ass. I can never get it to cover and when I do get it to cover I'll um, try to put something else on top of it like a cream bronzer or something and it'll just freaking wipe it off. is not feeling that foundation today. 
Okay. Okay, so I ended up having to take that whole thing off and reapplying. I just did the tinted moisturizer. Now I'm just going to bring it down my neck. I don't quite know what happened there. It could be that my skin is really dry right now, and it also could be this primer that I keep trying to use. I swear every time I grab for it, like the first time I used it, it was great, and then after that, it's been fucking horrible, so I don't, I don't know. It's okay, though. Now everything looks pretty decently good. Everything's decently even. I brought that down my neck. What type of videos are you guys into? Do you like watching? Is it more so like beauty content? Is it lifestyle? If you watch lifestyle videos, what type of lifestyle videos do you like? Um, if it's beauty videos, what type of beauty videos do you like to see? Do you like tutorials or do you like just like this? Like where we're just chatting about whatever the hell pops up to my mind. Do you like product reviews? Do you like trying to see me like do things like TJ Maxx makeup? I'm curious because of course like I always say I want to make stuff that I want to see or not that I want to see but stuff that I like to make but I also want to do things that you guys are going to find intriguing as well that you're going to want to watch. Have you guys started putting out like your Christmas decorations? Because I've noticed quite a few people are. I think I understood it more. Um, last year because quite honestly I just wanted to get that fucking year over with it was horrible for everyone and anyone and I just I just wanted to be done with it so I understood people putting up their stuff early last year but are you guys the type of people that like to put up your Christmas tree as soon as you take down your Halloween decorations or do you like to celebrate Thanksgiving and stuff like that which I don't think anybody doesn't like to celebrate Thanksgiving I think it's just more so that they love the decorating and stuff like that for Christmas could be wrong though we normally have a tradition of after we do our Thanksgiving dinner either that night or the next day Jesus get off my face either that night or the next day we will go get our uh, Christmas tree we used to do uh, the fake tree every year, but it just, it never looked right. And it always, you could tell it was fake, you know what I mean? Unless you want to spend an ass ton on freaking, on a fake tree. But then even then it's still just going to break in a year or two, probably. I don't know. I also like the smell that a real tree brings to the house. Personally, I know some people don't like it. I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law doesn't like it. I know this year, though, we're just getting presents for, like, the children that we see all the time. And maybe me and Toby will get a present for each other. But that's it. I'm not buying gifts. I'm done buying gifts for adults. Especially because there's been quite a few that are, like, very ungrateful. And I'm just... I'm done with it. Which sucks because like I genuinely enjoy giving gifts. I love seeing the reaction of people's faces and I love seeing you know people use the stuff that you got them and them know that like you were thinking of them enough to know kind of what they would like or whatever but like I said I'm just and then I'd feel bad if I bought gifts for people that actually like liked their gifts and appreciated their gifts and then the other people wouldn't get any, which I guess would be fine. But then I'd feel like I needed to be even with everyone. Everyone needs a gift. At least this way, us uh, setting the rule of it's only for kids that we see or whatever. Um, at least it's an easier rule to follow and it's not like a gray area, you know what I mean? Oh, we've been letting Brady listen to, uh, songs keep popping up in my head is why I thought of this. Uh, we've been letting Brady listen to Kids Bop, like the Kids Bop radio. And, uh, am I wrong, but didn't, like, back in the day when we were young, when Kids Bop first became a thing, wasn't it just songs that, like, 
we're child appropriate but we're still sung by the original artists or whatever was isn't that what it used to be or has it always been kids singing it because I could have freaking sworn that it used to be pretty much like a playlist put together that's like kid friendly I don't know I feel like that's what it was but now all the kids bop radio on uh, Pandora only just plays like kids singing sometimes it'll have like regular songs like songs that are from the actual artist but for the most part though it's all just the kids bop kids singing it I'm very particular about what I let Brady listen to because some of these songs man are bad as fuck they talk about some badass stuff and then it turns into like your kids talking about stuff like that and then you're like you're like two can you not sincerely considering getting um botox in my forehead right there because that line is really annoying like that whole that whole crease there i've been like binge watching um a couple things but for the most part it's been Hell's Kitchen and um, Robert Welsh his videos him and his brother James are freaking hilarious and their accent amazing could literally listen to it all damn day which I think I've talked about that before on here oh since it's almost that time of the year we've already talked about Thanksgiving and stuff do you guys like to watch when people do like They'll go Black Friday shopping, and then they, like, come back and show people what they got. Or, um, they'll do videos on, like, what I got for Christmas or what I gave for Christmas. Um, probably won't do those last two, but, because, like I said, I'm not, I'm tired of buying gifts for everybody. But do you guys watch those videos? Because, like, it's pretty cool to see the deals and stuff that you can get through Black Friday in my opinion. Like if you didn't know that something went on sale and it did, you could still probably get it. I don't know. I do put on a lot of powder. I don't know. One minute I'm like, I don't know why my face is dry and the next minute I'm caking on powder. I'm a complicated chick, okay. Oh, I saw Manny launched um, a new face palette. Looks really, really nice. I really do want to try it, so I might might end up getting it, because he said the formula is the same as these blushes, and I absolutely adore these blushes, so, sorry, I kind of zoned out for a second, just doing my base, <laughs> thought about doing one of those, uh, <laughs> like, walkthroughs of my mornings, but, like, of course, I don't know, like, if you guys would be interested in that or not. And also, I would look like a hot-ass fucking mess. Probably throughout the entire video. Because, like I've mentioned before, I don't do my makeup every day. And for it, in my opinion, to be realistic, like a realistic morning with me, having my makeup done and my hair done and being all dressed somewhat nice is just not that's not realistic that's not what I do every day if you guys want to see the hot mess express though just let me know I've also done about or thought about doing uh like getting ready in the woods type of thing I just saw uh raw beauty Christy. I saw her do it in her very beautiful backyard unfortunately I don't have a backyard like that but I do go to some hiking trails that are very, very pretty. I need to start doing more in my day-to-day -day life. Like exciting shit. That way I could like bring you guys with me. But right now I'm boring. I do nothing. I sit at home. We do stuff sometimes, but for the most part, this is all I do. I sit at home, I film, I edit. I take Brady to and from school. I haven't actually been working out or anything, which I need to I need to get back on that. I stopped working out for a little bit and then like my sciatic nerve started giving me issues. And now it's like a double edged sword that like I think it started messing up because I wasn't being active and just being a couch potato. 
but if I were to go work out right now, I feel like it would probably mess up my back even more. I don't have too much longer and then I have to go pick up Brady, but we're damn near done. I'm not doing lashes just because oh, I got this lip kit, which I think I showed in a video once from uh, Kylie Jenner in it's called Autumn. Looks like that, but it's like really, really pink toned. I was assuming because it's called Autumn that it would be like brown toned. It's a pretty color, but it's just... It's not what I would think when I think autumn. See what I mean? It's really pretty. I do like it. It's just not... You know? It's a very pretty color, though. Very, very pretty. It kind of tones down a little bit as it dries. Still not at all what I would think when I think fall. But, you know... Whatever. Okay, guys. That is the finished look. I really like the way it turns out. It actually does complement my um, shirt pretty well. The light tones, like this is like the grayish purpley tones. And so is my eyes. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you watched all the way to the end, leave a turkey emoji in the comments. Um, thank you to the guys who uh, did it last time. That was pretty cool. But, um... How many times am I going to say, but, um, <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't really talk about anything, but everything at the same time in this video. It was a little bit, I was a little bit of everywhere, which again, it's just, that's how my brain works at all times. I'm thinking about everything and anything and running through loops in my own head, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to uh, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!